This is Apple iOS Apps for Amateur Radio. In this video, we're going to talk about apps that you can use for your iOS device. This is the iTunes Store. As you can see when we look up Amateur Radio, there are a lot more apps available. Let's start out with Hamtest Prep. This is a study guide application that gives you a full list of questions in the question pool. From the main menu, you can also take practice exams or see your test history. It also gives you a complete breakdown of Part 97. When you take a practice exam, it'll look like this. And when you've completed your exam, you'll get a nice proficiency percentage from the exam. Next, let's look at QRZ for Apple. When we look up W1AW, we get all the information we'd expect to see from the standard QRZ page. We can also see its location. And if we want, we can actually see a standard QRZ page. Then there's Repeater Book, a nice little application that finds repeaters that are close to you. For instance, the AH6LE repeater is only 0.9 miles away. And as we scroll down the list, we see that the N7ASM repeater is only 4.8 miles away. If we click on the repeater listing, we get all the particulars about that repeater. There's also filters that we can select which repeaters we will see, as well as which modes we want to use. You can also set auto location. That way you only see the repeaters that are nearest to you. We also have OpenAPRS, a nice little APRS app. From the main screen on the app, it gives you a working compass, as well as access to all the app's features. This area here gives you your exact location, as well as some of the setup features. We can also do a search and see when the last time one of our fellow hams was on, as well as the ability to message back and forth. We're also able to look people up on a map as well. There's also an Echo Link app. This is very similar to what you'd see on your desktop. First thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that the connection to Echo Link is working. All you have to do is log into the test server and then transmit some audio and listen to it back. Then, while well, you need to pick a country that you want to talk to. From that list, you'll see everybody in that country that's on Echo Link. Once you've connected, you'll get a screen that looks like this. This tells you everybody that's on that node. Then all you have to do is click transmit and you're in the conversation. And let's not forget iCluster, a neat little app to catch spots on the DX cluster. From the main page, you'll see all the current DX spots and who sent that spot. If you click on one of the spots, you'll come up to this page, which gives the spotting details, as well as the information from the herd station. You can also connect to numerous different DX clusters. There's also an area for alerts and filters. You can filter by band, by mode, by zone, and by call. This app also has a very nice link to QRZ. And last but not least, Ham Antenna Calculator for iOS. This antenna app is set up to work either English or metric and can calculate 8th wave, quarter wave, half wave, 5 eighths wave, or a full wave antenna. You just punch in your frequency and it comes up with the length. In this case, for a dipole, it's telling us what a half wave length is and what a quarter wave length is. It can do the same for the inverted V, where it calculates the inverted V for either 20 degrees, 32 degrees, or 45 degrees, as well as calculating for a vertical, where it gives our vertical length as well as our radial length. The iTunes App Store has a lot of amateur radio apps that are available. This video is just to give you a quick look at what's available for ham radio in the App Store. I hope this video has been helpful and 7.3s from N9LVS.